lovely. Right, we've uh, joined Donal in the kitchen now. Um, and this looks gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Um, oh. What is this? It's well, got a little bit of everything in here. It does I'm have very a much like in this crispy, like, is it salami? On it's yeah. all about the crispy salami. Oh so, basically, God. this is, if you've ever had pasta alla limone, which is this creamy lemon zest infused pasta, We've brought it up a notch. We're going summer vibe, so we've That's got asparagus. Amazing. Is it not? Do you like mm. that? Oh, yeah. my God. That's what we're after. And, and really, about this recipe, it's, it's perfect for summer because it feels light, even though there's a bucket of cream in there. You'll be fine, OK? <laughs> so we're going to start off by crisping up our salami. Now, this is a game changer. I always eat this on the charcuterie board. Happy out, glass of wine, no problem. Never thought to crisp it up. And Never. It makes such a difference I'd to this recipe. I'd argue it's better. It is actually phenomenal because it, you know, not only does it crisp up because there's quite a lot of fat in it, but you also get this great salty hit throughout it's the pasta. Amazing. It's amazing. It's good. Like I could eat a bowl of just that. I know. It's where I've invented the wheel. I've just put salami in a pan. Look, well done. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So we've crisped up our salami. We've popped it in the pan. You need a tiny bit of oil, but not too much. Next in, we're going in with butter. And this is where you use up the fatty salami kind of fats that are in there. Yeah. The, these particular ones have uh, some nice fennel running through it. So even, even if you didn't have, if you had bog standard, standard um, salami, pop in some fennel seeds and it will make all the difference okay. to the flavour of this dish. So butter goes in and we're just going to make a very rich sauce that brings everything together. So pop in with the butter. Oh, sorry, first is our lemon zest. So lemon zest goes in with the butter. You're infusing and you can it's see... It's a lot. That's why it's, it's so a lot lemony. Here. And I'm going to save a little bit for the top as well. So it's about two or three lemons uh, zest going in there. Butter, lemon, cream. It is a magic mix. So what I would suggest is get your pasta cooking before you start this. Wow. Then make up your sauce just towards the end of the cooking time. We're going to get in there with our cream. And what I would say now is take your time with this. Let that cream cook out. Let it bubble and let it simmer down because everyone kind of puts in the cream at the last minute. But actually, if it has the time to infuse with that lemon zest, that's where the difference will be made in okay. this recipe, OK? And it won't split. It won't. If you add it slowly on a low heat, you won't have that problem. And just whisk as you're going because when it splits, it's when the heat gets at it, at it too much. Yeah, so you but just... you put that into hot butter with hot salami well, fat on a hot heat then. Well, Phil, we're on live television, so, you know, that's I, I miracle, do what though. needed That's why you're so brilliant. <laughs> that it hasn't. If I'd done that, that would have... <laughs> Split so far. Well, that's the thing. I mean, rarely, unless you are talking about the smoking hot pan, right. it's not going to split on you. So just keep your eye on it. Now, now as I say this, I'm like, has it going? Is it going to split? Is it going? No, it's not. Look, it looks beautiful, Phil. Don't be paying it. Don't be bringing attention <laughs> to those things. Uh, now, when it comes to pasta to, uh, types here, you're looking for a short pasta. Equally, if you get your hands on some fresh pasta, it is absolutely gorgeous in here as well. Again, you're just mixing it through that beautiful sauce. Mm -hmm. Now, we've got cavatelli, or you could use gemelli, or even just your bog standard uh, food silly in the, in the store cupboard, does the job. Into our pot of salted boiling water, we've added the pasta, it's cooked out for about 10, 11 minutes, just until it's al dente. We're going in there with some peas, you can get them from uh, the pea on pasta. freezer. I Your pea, pea pasta. pasta. Yeah. I'm going to have to change the name of the, the dish now. <laughs> My pea pasta. Pea pasta. <laughs> um, so, moving swiftly on, uh, asparagus and peas go in and they're only going to cook for just a minute or two. They just want, you want that bite, you want them to be nice and green and then you come back and have a look at what's going on in your pan. At this moment now, this is cooked out and you can see it's only been in here for a minute or two. You can see that it's bubbling, but it does change. If you just add cream at the very last minute, it's just going to look kind of anemic and miserable. Mm. This is where you want to infuse and have the time. So season it up with a little bit of pepper and you're going to season it up with salt and that is it. It's the most visceral, beautiful uh, pasta sauce that is so easy to do and you kind of think it needs more but it actually is all it takes so Amazing. once you have your pot all I'm gonna do is bring that uh, pot if you have a little more time on the old it's like uh, veggies a fresh summer yeah. carbonara it? yeah it's simple and like when I mean, carbonara is winter this is like summer yeah, actually yeah well, I, I mean, yeah, carbonara technically doesn't have I cream. Know. I know. I, I, I know, wasn't... I've had this route many a times, but you know what I mean by that. I know what you mean. It's that creamy mm. finish to the sauce, um, except we are using cream in this case. But look, if, what I would say is literally <laughs> cook... The... I'm not going there. I am only saying it because I know we'll get killed. <laughs> I so. No, I just hope that Gino's not I know, watching. I know. <laughs> I'm glad Gino's not here to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so what I would say is once you've transferred the pasta straight in here, give it time to cook out in that creamy mixture. This not only cooks cooks out your veggies a little bit more. It also cooks out the pasta and it leaves everything the time to really infuse with that flavour. So give it a good mix and mix it through. And last finishing touches at this point now, you can add in some parsley if you want, a nice little hit of freshness. But the key element here is some Parmesan cheese. You You're a bad man. I, well, do you know what, Holly? Sometimes it's a midweek, you've got to go wild, you know? And when it comes to Parmesan cheese, 
you can go with your microplane grater, but if you whiz it in a food processor, you know if you've ever been to one of those sort of Italian American sort of restaurants, yeah. that's what you're getting. So it's that whiz that will give you the lovely texture on your pasta. That is it, literally it. Crispy fennel popped in there. Pop it all straight to the table with some rocket. It is wonderful. Stir through your rocket and look, guys, you're tucking in. Do you like it? Do you? Uh, is it nice? Absolutely gorgeous. The lemon <laughs> is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. And, and finish that... it off. Last bit of lemon zest. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, just hang on a second. Deep fried salami. You're going over that plate of salami, aren't you? Just take it, Phil. Just take it. <laughs> take it, take it. Um, Donald, yeah. thank you. That's thank absolutely you delicious. Thank you very much. Thank Details you. of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs. Download the free This Morning app.